Derek Hullinger, and I have a PhD in physics, and I'm going to explain a little bit about uh, the ratio of the radius of a circle to its diameter. And it turns out, if you have a circle, there are a few different ways that you can measure how big the circle is. One of them is just to say, well, how long is it all the way from one side to the other side? And that's called the diameter. Another measurement that we sometimes talk about is the radius of a circle. And that's when you go from the center out to the edge. So there's the radius of the circle. So if you, if you notice the way this works, since the diameter is all the way through and the radius is just halfway through, if you take the radius and you find the ratio between the radius and the diameter, it's always just 1 over 2. And that works for every circle. So for example, a quarter. A quarter is, a diameter is about, let's see, let's get another marker here. The diameter is 24.26 millimeters. And so the radius would be exactly half of that. And it turns out that that's 12.13 millimeters. So if you divide those two by each other, it's just exactly one half. And it works that way for, for any circle.